Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today topic of discussion is on MCQ but the question is a little different. Actually it's based on 1H NMR signal counting. So the question is for this molecule how many number of 1H NMR signals you expect. So here four options are provided and one of them is the right answer. I request you student please pause the video try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box don't worry after some time you'll get the right answer with explanation so so let's start the problem now before going to the details we should look at the proton count because our question is on about proton nmr or 1h nmr so we need to focus how many protons are there in this molecule according to the structure representative represented in the problem so i can say this is 1 2 obviously 3 4 5 6 7 8 type of protons but actually these eight types of protons are not observed generally generally polar and exchangeable proton are not observed in the NMR. What do I mean by this statement? So first of all polar and exchangeable and in this case you can see this OH bond is actually polar and exchangeable. Why? Because oxygen is significantly high electronegative so this bond, this OH bond is significantly polar and actually what happens such protons could be jumped from one to another so that's why in majority of cases such OH protons are not observed in the NMR. But here there are another type of proton obviously this uh, sp2ch protons. So these protons are observed and in this case if you look at them there is actually 1, 2, you can say 3, 4, you can say 5 and 6. So 6 type of proton you can, take, you can expect from this structure. But student, it is not that. Actually, what happens here? What, what is the uniqueness of this problem? Let's learn in the next slide. So, actual phenomena of this problem is based on the tautomerism and proton exchange. So, I am actually focusing on the tautomerism. Tautomerism means this is a carbonyl, you can see. So, this carbonyl is in conjugation. Conjugation is this bond, this, this, this and in this way it is connected to this OH. So, you can consider this concept as a vinylogous acid. So, you can see this is a simple ketone and if you, sorry, simple carboxylic acid and if you look at its vinylogous counterpart, this is a vinylogous acid. And by the way, I have already discussed a dedicated video that is principle of vinylogy. So, you can visit this video for better understanding. In short, what this principle says? Principle says that in between two functional groups, if there is double bonds or conjugation, then through conjugation such properties are carried forward. For example, I can see here, these carbox this OH is significantly acidic, it is a carboxylic proton. But in the second case here, you can see there is a double bond and after that there is OH. So, similar type of property are observed in this case also. So, this is actually called the principle of vinylogy. And because of this principle of vinylogy, what happened? This proton actually shift via tautomerism from here to here. So, in this way what happens? This OH, this OH group is converted into the keto. And the, this part is converted into the enol. So, same thing is true for the other one, I mean with respect to this carbon you can say this is, this is, this is, this is, this is conjugation. So, this is you may consider that this conjugation can result similar way to proton shifting ultimately result carbonyl position here. So, what we are observing student, we are observing that one time carbonyl is here another time carbonyl is here and another time carbonyl is here this three time position of carbonyl is this and actually OH one time here second time here and here and here and third time there here and there. So from these three we can conclude the overall molecular structure is that carbonyl group and hydroxyl group both are there in the same position in a particular canonical form and this process is 
very rapid so that's why first of all nmr can't predict or can't find out the position of this oh first of all it's polar and second it is getting exchanged due to tautomerism because sometime we say although the oh bonds are polar still they are observed sometime we see relatively broad type of peaks but still they are observed but because of this exchanging phenomena it is actually not observed if we look at overall overall actually two types of protons are observed okay so these two types so i can see these two types okay so means if i say more accurately these ha and hb these two types of proton observed now you can say that sir with respect to this this part same thing i just explained another canonical form this will be carbonyl so similarly this ha and ha will give the peak so similarly this will show the same so overall we will get the peaks for means two protons so this option a is the answer okay now if you don't know the answer how can you conclude this answer less than 30 seconds see student if you look at this problem you need to you need to understand that okay so oh will not give any peak point number one and second there is a chance of these uh, vinylogous uh, ketoenol type of thing so it's a vinylogous system so proton shifting possible or tautomerization possible and by the way this phenomena has a another name prototropy because means this proton could be shifted now because of this we can expect that we can expect two signals but sometime we get confused or if you don't know that this proton will give peak or not so you can expect that this ha hb and oh three types of proton possible because this ketoenol tautomerism thing now a question three type did i provide any option three no even i have provided in every cases every cases if you look at this is four this is six this is eight though this option is not possible because this molecule can undergo tautomerization so if you don't know that under this condition or nmr condition will this proton means observe or not don't worry because the options are provided in such a way that it is not included if you try to get you will not get now second thing what will be the nature of this ha and hb actually they will be student doublet I mean this type of doublet. Why? Because means they are ad attached to the adjacent carbons. So their splitting will happen. One proton will result in doublet. So both will result a doublet signal. Okay. So this is the end of the discussion. I believe this is interesting. Now in conclusion, what you have learned today that the molecule is a kind of vinylogous acid and the OH bond is significantly polar. Two points. First of all, electronegative differences between OH and second thing, it is actually a phenol derivative or aromatic alcohol. So that's and we know that aromatic alcohols are more acidic compared to aliphatic alcohol. I mean, indirectly, I want to say that this aliphatic OH, ali aromatic OH, the OH bond is significantly polar. So second point, this ketoenol tautomerism is actually a proton exchange phenomena. I've already discussed dedicated lectures on this. Please visit for better understanding. And finally, the proton exchange rate in ketoenol tautomerism is significantly higher compared to this 1 HNMR scale at room temperature. So that's why this 1 HNMR cannot distinguish at this condition the exact position of the proton attached to this electronegative oxygen atom. And due to this rapid exchange, these OH protons are not observed in this NMR. So actually we get two signals doublet. Okay. So this is the end of this question.